my name is Robin Bremer, and um, I'd like to share with you today um, one of the super <laughs> supernatural events that uh, has happened to me uh, in my daily walk with God. And God wanted me to share with you of the supernatural things that happen in my life as I walk with God so that you would be in expectation uh, for supernatural things to happen in your life. Um, this is uh, what I like to call the graveyard demon. Um, I go for a walk up the side of a mountain almost every day and one of the days I walk by there and um, well first of all I want to share with you that our spirit man is just like our physical body. Our physical body has senses. We hear, feel, taste, touch, and smell. Well, demons can't read what's in our mind, but they they are spiritual, and we're spiritual beings living in a body. And our spiritual body can smell, taste, touch, um, feel, and so on. And, uh, for example, like, if we're fearful, the devil's... It, it, it's like a shark when you go in the water uh, and you're bleeding the blood uh, the blood atta attracts the shark well for example if you're fearful perhaps you put out some kind of um, signal that the that the demons understand that means fear that your spiritual uh, body uh, puts off a smell in the spiritual realm or a color or sound or something because, um, you know, God says, taste and see that the Lord is good. It says that our prayers are sweet aroma to Him. Uh, the Bible talks about the spirit man tasting, touching, smelling, feeling, and so on. So, one day when I was, uh, I oftentimes walk by this graveyard, and one of the days I went through it, and it was really a beautiful, peaceful graveyard. And I was just reading the tombstones and everything, and, you know, all peaceful and everything. Well, about a, four weeks later... Uh, maybe even six weeks later, I don't know, four weeks later, something like that, I was walking through, uh, you know, just walking by the graveyard. And I just, just one of the statues in the graveyard caught my attention. And it never did before. I didn't really notice it. It was just a little statue, and it was a statue, I guess, of an angel. But <laughs> I get chills sort of thinking about it. And this is what happens in the spiritual realm. You can feel uh, your skin stands on end, you get goosebumps, you can feel demonic activity around you, demonic spirits around you. Well, this statue, I, I could see it in an open vision, like, uh, or in my spiritual eyes, it rose up in the air, and it followed me. And it was like a, um, it was like a, a girl in a white dress with all these flowing... Uh, things like tentacles is the best way to describe it. And I didn't see a face or anything. I just saw like a shape, and the statue, the shape of a statue, which was supposed to be an angel. Uh, but all I saw, I saw the the statue like floating and the like tentacles reaching all out, you know, kind of like that. And it followed me. I could see it in my mind's eye, following me, and I could feel it. Uh, my skin was standing on up on edge, and, and I could just feel the demonic evil spirit following me up over the mountain, down the other side, all the way into my yard. And, I mean, I could still feel it was present when I was, came into my house and, you know, rebuked it and told it to go and all that stuff. And it, it left, but um, it, was, it, was a, it was an experience in the supernatural. And perhaps the demonic spirit was there all the time, and my just, I'm just beginning now to train my. The Bible says, train your uh, spirit to discern, train your physical body to discern good from evil. In other words, your physical body will feel what's happening in the spiritual realm. Like I could feel the demonic activity. Uh, my skin was standing on edge. It was cold. The back of my hair, my neck stood up, and I could just feel it. Excuse me, and and I'm beginning to train and ask God to show me and to open my eyes and let me be discerning, and so that was a, an experience that I had, and I just thought I would share that with you because you've heard of all my good experiences. Well, I wanted to also share with you another that experience too. So my name is uh, uh, Robin Bremer, and um, <laughs> you're watching. Um, this video clip hopefully so that you can be encouraged 
motivated, inspired um, to have supernatural relationships with your Father God. And I'm out for today.